Hi, this is Jason Washburn, and I'm working on a film called Out There, which is a film that I started some 20 years or so ago with a friend of mine called Joseph Bailey. And we had shot a couple films before then. We shot a movie called Cosmic Abuse, which is now on, on YouTube. And we shot another movie called Developmental Research Under Government Surveillance, which is also on YouTube. And then we shot, we said, you know, we decided to shoot another movie. And uh, at first I named the movie called Humanoid Life Form, but over the course of time I decided to change it to Out There because it's just going to be an out there kind of science fiction movie. Uh, neither rhyme nor reason, but something to think about. Um, it's been some 20 years now, over, uh, and it's been sitting on the shelf for all that time, just kind of waiting, and finally I'm getting around to it. Uh, one of the things about filmmaking is it takes a lot of effort. It's very labor intensive to shoot, to edit, to re-edit, and then you don't like it and you re-edit it again. I edited my movie, Cosmic Review, some ooh, six or seven times before I came out with a, a, a reasonable version. And still, you know, I'm going to edit it again in the future because you know, I'm never satisfied. And there's always more technology to learn from in the process as well. So right now, I've decided I'm going to try to finish up on uh, out there. It first started um, with an idea about Adam and Eve and how in the garden Adam and Eve uh, disobeyed uh, the Most High in, in eating the forbidden fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. And this is kind of like a, a futuristic look at what happens when they reverse the process. So this is basically an idea taken from the Bible. It's an idea. And I decided to use that imagery. Um, then again, I asked a, a woman to work with me, a girl by the name of uh, Meredith. I don't know her last name, and I want to apologize to her now because she helped me out. And I had asked uh, this girl to come and and do some work with me. And she, she, was, she was willing and she did some stuff. She helped me out. 
Um, I realize something is, is if you're going to work with women, you have to respect. You got to be careful with, with uh, eroticism. It's a very powerful thing and it can really kind of lead you down the wrong paths if you don't use it the right way. And I had asked um, Meredith if she'd be willing to take off her clothes. And she says, I'll do it to a point, which is, I'm glad she did because now that I'm older, so you've got you to be careful with what you do in that regard because you can really go over the edge you know, if you do too much. So that was a powerful experience to work with Merida, and I really, really want to thank her for doing what she did, and I want to apologize that it's taken so long to get it together, but it's on, on the way. And I also worked with another girl from work called Bernadette. And she helped me out with some of the shots. And uh, again, Bernadette, I'm sorry it's taken so long, but I'm working on it. Everything takes time. It's labor intensive, but it's underway. And Again, I want to thank Joseph Balin who helped me use his basement for all these movies. Um, without him, it couldn't have been possible. He provided a lot of cameras. And he just gave me the space, and, and he was willing uh, to help me out. Uh, he's a very encouraging man, and I appreciate it. Joseph. So anyway, this is basically um, working on out there. Right now I'm using models. As you can see, I've got a spaceship, a space station that we're working from, and I'm doing a lot of manipulation with videos. And, and images through a paint, um, um, kind of like a Photoshop. software on my computer and it's coming together it takes a lot of work to get it right to make it look right and then editing is going to be another thing altogether so I'm in the process